Little House on the Prairie, a beloved American TV series based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's books, has left an indelible mark on generations of viewers. However, with the passage of time, we sadly bid farewell to many of its cherished actors. A poignant reflection of the fragility of life, 38 actors from the iconic show have passed away, leaving behind legacies etched in the hearts of fans worldwide. In this introduction, we delve into the profound impact of their contributions, honoring their memory and the timeless enchantment they brought to the small screen. Hersha Parody in the TV series she played Alice Garvey. In 1976, when she was in the series, she was 31, and sadly she passed away on August 23, 2023, at 78. You'll need your nourishment. Eat your supper while it's hot. Yes, ma'am. Richard Bull in the TV series played Nels Olsen. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 50 years old and sadly passed away on February 3rd, 2014 at 89. Harriet. Yes? Don't ever do that again. Not dust the shelves? You Dan Priest in the TV series play Conductor. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 55 and sadly passed away on April 23rd, 2004, at 80 years old. Sorry. Merlin Olsen in the TV series he played Jonathan Garvey. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 37 and sadly passed away on March 11, 2010, at 69. Well, it sure seems to be. Bank thought so. They didn't give me a minute's trouble with that loan. <laughs> yeah, they recognize that growing enterprise when they see it. Uh, you'll soon have enough business from Mankato. Michael Landon in the TV series played Charles Ingalls. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 36 and sadly passed away on July 1st, 1991 at 54. <sighs> There's no work for a woman. I never should let you do it. <sighs> I'm all right, I said. Queenie Smith in the series she played Mrs. Amanda May Whipple. In 1974, when she was in the series, she was 76 and sadly she passed away on August 5th, 1978 at 79. Oh, um, dear, I reset the sleeve last night because it, well, it just wasn't hanging proper. Thank you, ma'am. Dear, I'll go fetch some. Eddie Quillen in the TV series she played Buffalo Bill. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 70 and sadly passed away on July 19, 1990, at 83. Man, to get him to talk. <laughs> Good enough. Quit Harry. What's that? Goodbye. Farewell. Ivan Bonar in the TV series to play Mr. Case. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 53 and sadly passed away on December 8, 1988, at 64. Yes? I'm really very sick. Yes, you are, Mary. Do I have to have an operation? Catherine McGregor in the TV series she played Harriet Olsen. In 1974, when she was in the series, she was 49, and sadly she passed away on November 13, 2018, at 93. Hi! The answer to our prayers! I think we should talk about it. Nonsense! <laughs> Victor French in the TV series to play Isaiah Edwards. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 40 years old and sadly passed away on June 15, 1989, at 54. Maybe not long enough. What? You'll abandon that boy 11 years ago when he was 2 years old. Don Redberry in the TV series to play Chad Larrabee. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 64 and sadly passed away on July 17, 1980, at 68. When you can't go around the bog, you go through it. All right then, we're all in agreement, huh? Agreed. All right, meeting adjourned. Carl Swenson in the TV series to play Lars Hansen. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 66 and sadly he passed away on October 8, 1978, at 70. I am an old man. 
let me die in peace. Kevin Hagen in the TV series played Dr. Hiram Baker. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 46 and sadly passed away on July 9, 2005, at 77. I lose this hand, I lose everything. Dab Square in the TV series played Reverend Robert Alton. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on April 28, 2007, at 90 years old. I see. So you're just on a, a tour of our churches in the district? Yes. Our district manager hasn't the time to come himself, but he is... Sam Edwards in the TV series play Mr. Bill Anderson. In 1978, when he was in the series, he was 63 and sadly passed away on July 28, 2004, at 89. Be a while yet. Say, shouldn't you two be getting back to school? Well, I really want to stay and wait till the first call comes in. I'll tell you what. After school, you James Jeter in the TV series play Hans Doffler. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 53 and sadly passed away on March 4, 2007, at 85. Put it down. You couldn't hit me anyway, probably shoot the boy. Leave it be. E.J. Andre in the TV series play Chad Cooper. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 68 and sadly passed away on September 6, 1984, at 76. Oh, God. Ted Gearing in the TV series play Ebenezer Spargu. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 46 and sadly passed away on September 28, 2000, at 71. You work mighty hard and you deserve better than this, but uh, you have one consolation. There's a lot of grown-ups who made the same mistake. Bob Hoy in the TV series play Ben Slick. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 48 and sadly passed away on February 8th, 2010 at 82. John McLeam in the TV series he played Caleb Fisher. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 59 and sadly passed away on April 16, 1994, at 76. The dress was good enough. This one is... is... Well, I would not call it a proper dress. Walker Edmiston in the TV series he played Dr. Moore. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 51 sadly passed away on February 15, 2007, at 81. I'll get your wife. Richard Jacko in the TV series to play Earth Hartwick. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 50 years old, and sadly passed away on June 14, 1997, at 70. Well, I know how hard it is for young folks sometimes to understand, but he was only doing the best he can. Sunshine Parker in the TV series Blade Driver. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 47 and sadly passed away on February 17, 1999, at 71. So, your friends are coming to save you, but this time we'll be ready for him. I'll deputize every man in this town. Was he king? Wayne Hefley in the TV series play Mr. Kennedy. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 47 and sadly passed away on November 19, 2008, at 81. Jim Tyler! <laughs> 50 minutes till the next heat! Royal Dano in the TV series play Mr. Hector Webb. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on May 15, 1994, at 71. No! I told you no! Don't you lie to me! I'm not! I swear it! You're a wanton thing, Sylvie. Lord knows I've tried. Arthur Hill in the TV series to play Lance Ford Ingalls. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 54 
and sadly passed away on October 22, 2006, at 84. Have the dress already. I want to get to the post early in case it was a letter. I'll fix your breakfast before you go. I've already been. Hermione Baddeley in the TV series she played Kezia Horn. In 1977, when she was in the series, she was 71, and sadly she passed away on August 19, 1986, at 79. Cola, aren't they? Huh? Yeah, they sure are. Beautiful. <laughs> Elizabeth Hoffman in the TV series she played Miss Mason. In 1980, when she was in the series, she was 54, and sadly she passed away on August 21st, 2023, at 97. Miss Mason, can the boy speak? Have you ever heard him speak? No, I haven't. Georgia Schmidt in the TV series she played Adele Colley. In 1974, when she was in the series, she was 70, and sadly she passed away on April 18, 1997, at 92. Remember when you stop complaining. He really has been hurting awful bad at night, Doc. Sometimes he cries. Dale! Why are you telling me that? Jack Perkins in the TV series to play Barkeep. In 1978, when he was in the series, he was 57, and sadly passed away on March 7, 1998, at 76. Table's closed. Leo Ayers in the TV series to play Lamb McCary. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 74, and sadly passed away on December 30th, 1996, at 88. When did you get so old, Jess? What day? What time? Now you tell me, because when that day comes for me, I want to know so I can stay in bed. Moses Gunn in the TV series to play Joe Kagan. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 48, and sadly passed away on December 16, 1993, at 64. Maybe I can. God knows I owe his mama that much. <laughs> you never go around my kid again after night. <laughs> John Zaremba in the TV series played Judge Adams. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 71, and sadly passed away on December 15, 1986, at 78. Tell you that since Albert was a ward of the Dakota Orphanage, I'll have to contact them and get their approval before any petition for adoption can be filed. Will that take long? Dub Taylor in the TV series played Houston Lamb. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 73, and sadly passed away on October 3rd, 1994, at 87. Don't know yet. Don't know yet? I ain't never been there myself. Fort Rainey in the TV series played Dr. Burke. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 67, and sadly he passed away on July 25th, 2005, at 96. Tell us. <laughs> Same reason people don't come to me, till they're in really bad shape. Fear sometimes. Well, many times poor eyesight comes. Alvi Moore in the TV series play Storekeeper. In 1980, in the TV series, he was 59, and sadly passed away on May 4th, 1997, at 75. You certainly showed up early this morning. I aim to get back early too. 60, 70, 72. Thank you. See what do you think when 38 actors of the TV series Little House on the Prairie sadly passed away, and who do you miss the most among them? Please leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.